Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're completing, these last three have been very closely intertwined. Uh, we set uh, a code, we moved it up the inheritance path so that we had, had uh, the same function on all animal, in cat, bird, dog, species, everything like that had the same sort of eat function. Here we um, showed how to inherit behaviors from the supertype, meaning that the animal had the function of that, and now we want to set the prototype of it to an instance of the parents. Uh, in the previous challenge, you saw the first step of inheriting behavior from the supertype animal and making a new instance of animal. This challenge covers the next step. Set the prototype of the subtype or child, in this case bird, to be an instance of animal. Bird.prototype is equal to object.createAnimal.prototype. So we're creating a bird prototype and we're setting it equal to the animal, uh, an object with the prototype of animal. Remember that the prototype is like the recipe for creating an object. In a way, the recipe for bird now includes the key ingredients from animal. So we want to say let the duck is equal to, a, uh, we set a variable of duck equal to a new uh, instance of a bird um, object, and then duck.eat prints nom nom nom. Um, and that's moved up the prototype chain, right? So duck inherits all of the animal's properties, including the eat method. So we want to modify the code so that the instance of dog inherit from animal. Cool. So what we want to do is say, <clears throat> um, right now, beagle.eat is not a function. It's just not rendering out. However, we want it to, we want all the dog functionality. We want the, all the animal characteristics to be part of the dog. But right now, our dog doesn't have the capability to eat, which is the function which is part of animal. So all animals should eat, so we need to set the dog to be a subtype of the animal supertype. And in order to do that, we're going to say um, dog.prototype is equal to object.createAnimal.prototype. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and now we see that the dog is able to eat. Okay, so the now what we've got happening is the dog is a subtype of animal and so when we create a new instance of dog and we say dog eat then we execute the function within the animal prototype even though we're calling it on a instance of dog console.log um, beagle instance of uh, dog and that returns true. So beagle is an instance of dog. Is it an in, uh, instance of animal? That's also true. So now, because we've added the dog to the prototype of the animal, we have a situation where the beagle is an instance of both dog and animal because it keeps rendering true right here. And that's how we pass the test. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.